Hi, I'm Hannah Crawford here with Swaya and Vernon Haskey. Hi. <laughs> Vernon, can you tell us about the piece that won? Oh, the, my, I had a bracelet that um, was uh, in 18 karat gold and coral, and it had a really huge coral as the center focal point on top, and it had a lot of inlay around the, the, si- the sides, and then also on the edge. And it, it, the inlay was really, um, one side had a lot of circular or, or um, wavy lines. The other side had a lot, it was more blocked. So I guess it kind of has a representation also like uh, your left brain and right brain, your right hand at left hand, that, and there's like duality there. So that's, that's what it came Definitely came together. This is not your first time winning, right? No, it's not. Um, this is my... Um, Sixth time winning best of classification here at Santa Fe at the Indian Market. I won in um, 1999, 2000, 2002, 2004, 2005, and now. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was telling my wife er- earlier, I was saying, you know what this makes me feel like? You know, wow, I feel like the Michael Phelps of the jewelry portion of uh, Indian Market. <laughs> you said it and I didn't have to. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good job. Thank that you. That sounded great. I'm here with Lo- Lo- <laughs> Lola Cody, classification winner for weaving. And uh, I'm going to ask you, so what's, what's your piece about and uh, how does it feel to win? Oh, it feels great. I, this is my first time winning the best of classification, so I, it's, it, it's good. It's amazing. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> Can you describe your piece? Yeah, my piece is a two gray heel uh, weaving textile. It's all made out of all natural colored wool, and the wool that w- I used in my weaving is all from my uh, flock of sheep that we raise out on the Navajo Reservation where we live in the Water Mesa. And um, all the yarn in the piece is hand spun by me. And after we shear the sheep, um, and um, it's all made out of natural color, no, no dyes in the, in the piece. So it was, um, it was a challenge for me to take on work at the, of that size, which because I have never done one that size before, so it was uh, it was really amazing to me to just to even work on the piece, and the planning process. Yeah, I didn't know what I was gonna um, create, but uh, it just came, um, and I, I was I just amazed myself too. You know, just um, working on on a piece that size, and a lot of it. Um, my husband helped, my husband and my son actually, they um, put the, the uh, loom together for me and then when I wove up, wove up to about um, six feet, seven feet um, in height, they helped me move it down to where I could weave, uh, continue to weave. And it was, a, in a way, it was a family project, you know, with them doing the physical a labor for me and then my other you know family members encouraging me to finish the piece and just making comments about it so it, it was um it was very nice you know i it's amazing it is amazing thank you so much and congratulations yeah. Hi, this is Tyler Nagoyo. I'm uh, the director of marketing and PR at Swaya, and I'm here talking to Angela Babby, who won Best of Classification for Painting. Congratulations. You. Can you please tell us a little bit about your piece? Uh, well, it's actually a glass mosaic, and it's, um, it's got enameling on it, which is uh, it's painted and then fired in a kiln, so it's similar to a pottery slip. And so the faces and other details that I want to um, use the enamel on are then fired to over a thousand degrees and it's a glass on glass piece so then a lot of the a lot of the pieces that I make also just integrate straight glass into it but all of the little pieces are then glued down to cement board and then mortar is applied so you can't see through my work but it's more like a painting 
I'm a big fan of Angela's work. I, I think your work is fantastic. Can you tell us um, some about uh, something about your experiences at Indian Market in the past? You've been coming for about 10 years. Yes, and I, it was in 2006 that I received a fellowship. And I, I think a lot of artists are just thinking, oh, should I just give this up? And I got that fellowship, and it was really uh, the impetus for continuing on. It was just a huge experience for me. So Swaya has just absolutely changed my life, and, and I appreciate it so much. It's, a, it's also a huge inspiration to come and see other people's work and to talk to other artists. It's just a wonderful, wonderful thing. Did you travel from far? I came from Billings, Montana. So I'm enrolled at Pine Ridge in South Dakota, and I actually did a um, program out there with the National Museum of the American Indian this last year. It was their Artists and Leadership program. And there is a video online about that, and I love the video. I was really reticent to make it, but it turned out wonderful. What's the website? You want to get on YouTube and probably just put my name in. Um, you can also go through the Smithsonian site and look up my name, and you should be able to find it there. Do you have, since you've been coming here so much, do you have any traditions or rituals or things that you do to prepare? Or, you know, do you come on a certain day every time? Is there anything you do? Not really. The only thing that changed over time is, is uh, at first we stayed in the cheesiest, most hills possible. That really wears you down. And so uh, now we just make this a vacation and we get a nice house. <laughs> That's fantastic. Not really. <laughs> Well, congratulations, and thank you so much for talking with us today, and we'll see you this weekend. Okay, very exciting weekend ahead. <laughs> that was Angela Babby. I'm here with Amelia Jo Chandler. Congratulations on your Best of Classification Award for Sculpture. What did you think when I called you last night? Oh, was that you? <laughs> I was in shock. <laughs> I was in shock because um, I had a lot of things going on during that time, and I um, my niece was in the hospital, and um, I thought it was her telling me her situation. So I wasn't too sure if that was the number. And then when I said, who's this? And you explained it to me. I thought, oh, my gosh, I know what this is now. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, once you called me and I figured it out, I started writing things down so I wouldn't forget. I was, uh, I was a mess. <laughs> I was nervous. <laughs> Can you tell me how long it took you to make the piece and what was your inspiration behind it? Yeah, um, it took me, well, the, the handle is sand cast, so that took a while. Um, I'm guessing about three to four months with from beginning to end, um, over a period of about a year. And, um, and uh, the inspiration is my grandma. My grandma had a, a mud hogan, one you had to re-mud every summer. And I wanted to capture the mud with the copper. So I used copper instead of silver because I usually use silver. But I decided I was going to do copper. And the Olympics were going on. So I decided that um, I was going to do something that honors a sport that we are good at as Native people, Native women. And that is res ball, basketball. Grew up on the reservation and we play that. So I got a tree and I cast that and then I put a basketball goal on there and then I made the basketball and then I hammered that whole piece so I made that the handle and I usually make teapots that hold a cup of tea but this one I decided to cut in half and do half a cup of tea so that's how it all came about and then that's how I named it Res Ball at Grandma's so where are you from? I'm originally from Newcomb, New Mexico which is about 35 miles between um, Shiprock and Gallup and that's where I was raised and went to Newcomb Elementary School and Middle School. And then they didn't have a high school, so we were shipped off from there. So raised at Newcomb and then various boarding schools throughout the area. And then um, currently even live in Dolores and teach in Cortez. And when did you get to Santa Fe? Did you just get in this morning or have you been here for a while getting ready? Um, well, I worked on that teapot all the way up until... Tuesday night and I just said I'm done I'm tired and we tried to get somebody to bring it up so I could finish another piece but um, nobody was doing it so we decided to just pack it up and come early and so we came Wednesday and we dropped it off and then we just been sleeping 
since then and walking around town. So. Oh, so you're getting your energy up ready for tomorrow. <laughs> do you have anything that you do Saturday morning? What time do you get there? Do you get there extra early? What's your, what's your tradition for Indian Market? We get up really early, um, about 4.30 in the morning, and we get ready, and then we pack the car around 5.00. And then we drive down, mostly because we don't want to fight the traffic, all the artists coming in. And then my husband drops me off with the suitcases of um, display and metal work. And then he goes and parks the car, and I go to the booth. We kind of split the duties up. And then we set up, and ho we try to get set up by 6.30, because there's already people there about that time. So that's our ritual. Thank you, Thank you for talking with us today, and congratulations. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Hi, Arthur Holmes. Good afternoon. <laughs> um, would you tell us a little bit about your piece? Uh, my name is Arthur Holmes, and um, the piece I have is called um, Brothers Forever. And, um, there's. <laughs> it it to me it represents like family values and what your brothers you know certain friends brothers relatives are there for you you know when you know for helping you out during harvest time planting seasons and and it just represents Being the best friend you ever had. Yeah. Which means what? Like, um, <laughs> like, um, being a good friend, you know, there to pick you up when you need someone to be, when you need it to be picked up. And, hey, it's going to be all right, you know. Everything's all right, you know. Today's today, tomorrow's tomorrow, you know. You know leave, leave, the, leave the others behind and just look forward to tomorrow you know and it's it's kind of hard to explain you know it's just it's just that the feeling and I'm pretty sure up there Alan Hopi you know they know you know what we all go through you know and there's alcoholism drugs and and you know there I have some brothers you know drink and I'm you know Kind of like a, I watch over them, you know, to say, hey, it's be all right, you know, you know, you can't always drink all the time, you know, this, there's always something else there, you know, you know, but there was a time where I was like that, you know, and you know, it took, it took me to be away from my family so long, in, in or to realize what family is, is important, and. That's where I kind of realized, say, hey, you know, enough is enough. I had a brother, you know, hey, you'll be all right, you know. You'll come home one of these days, you know. Yeah. How does it feel to win a classification for Pueblo carving? It feels good. <laughs> it feels good, but, you know, I always think of it as all carvers, all artists are all winners to me, you know. They're all, you know, winners to their kids, their friends, their mom and dads, and that's what I look at, you know, you know, but but I'm I'm proud of all the entries, and you know, they did their best, and you know, like they say, you know, once you get into swell, they pick kind of the the best out of everybody else, and people are trying to still come get in, but they couldn't get in, so it's once you get in, you know, you're considered you know good yeah so well I'm really lucky to meet you <laughs> and thank you so much thank you but um, one thing I want to say is um, go Steelers yeah go Steelers <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you thank you thank you <laughs> you want to stand over here
I'm here with Valerie Calabaza. She won Best of Classification in Youth for the second year in a row. Congratulations. Um, what did you think when I called you last night? Um, I was in shock and actually uh, speechless. I didn't really know what to say. Or yeah. And have you seen the poster? It has your piece on it. I just seen the little card, but yeah. Um, did you come to Santa Fe yesterday, or were you, did you just get here this morning? Um, I just got here this morning. We were kind of running late. <laughs> do you have a lot of pieces for market this year? Yes, I do. I've been working on a lot of um, earrings, the spiny oyster shell earrings, and some pendants that I've been helping my grandma with and learning to um, be more experienced in that area. When did you start making jewelry? When I was about four, I say, with the starting with little bracelets with the big nuggets and slowly working up my way. And how old are you now, can I ask? I'm actually 14 years old. What grade are you in? I'm going to be in the 10th grade. So school hasn't started for you yet? No, it starts Monday. <laughs> will you be going on Monday? <laughs> yes, I, I will. <laughs> From superstar Indian market jeweler to 10th grade. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Do people at school know your other fabulous, famous art, art life? Um, I'm sure some know about it, not all. <laughs> Do you feel like since last year you've gotten a lot more recognition from just being in, um, in some magazines and on the poster and from your last year's win, all of the, the people that have talked to you. When you come to markets like this, do people recognize you? Um, I've, I've been kind of getting a notice much more and my grandpa and grandma are actually f kind of famous too. They specialize in the fine hishi. Can we talk to them too? Hi. Can we fit everybody in the frame? Can you step forward? Hi. Hi. Hello. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I am really very, very proud of her. She's been doing this for, this is her second time winning, and I'm very proud. She has the patience, and she has the ability, and she worked very hard at it. Thank you for coming today. Do you want to say anything? No, huh? No? <laughs> Who is this? This is my baby sister. Hi. Say, say hi. hi. Don't be shy. Say hi. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> well, congratulations to you, too. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the day and have a great weekend. Thank you, Thank you so much. Bye-bye. So now I'm talking to Best of Show winner, Jamie Okuma. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, that was weird you said that. <laughs> Best of Show winner, 2012, Indian Market. Uh, are you, how are you feeling? I, honestly, I, when you said that, I, I had forgotten. I was thinking I was here for Best of Class still, so it's still not yet sunk in. I mean, it's... For the third time, I mean, it's, I didn't think it was actually possible for myself, so. Can you tell me about the other two times? Well, the first time is the same. I, not, it was, I think, my second show, so I really didn't grasp what it was. Um, the second one, coming very soon after the first one, I knew what it was, and it was amazing to win it um, a year after I had won the first one, or a couple years after, and so now... Ask me tomorrow. Maybe I'll, <laughs> I'll be able to explain it better. But yeah, I, I can't believe it. So, Your work is so beautiful and it's so diverse. And when I see you, I think about those boots, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> so can you tell me a little bit about how you arrived at the decision to go for that and how long it took to make those gorgeous? The boots. Yeah. Um, well, explain I, the boots a bit. Okay. Well, I had... Last year was my first pair of um, beaded shoes that I've done, and so the boots came right off it right after that. Um, it was mostly what type of shoe I could challenge myself with. Not every shoe can be beaded, and of course, boots were a little crazy. 
But once I started, I had to finish. Um, it's something probably I won't do for a, a while. Um, it was really, really intense and um, a lot, a lot of work. And so... How long did it take you to make those? Oh, right after market I started, and I think I finished in January. So, a few months. And when you won, you spoke a little bit about uh, how you do a lot of traditional work and you, you do a lot of contemporary work. And can you speak to everybody about that more? Um, yeah, my base obviously is traditional work. But in the last few years, I've really been pushing myself into the contemporary world. Um, I am a contemporary native artist. Um, and so I really feel strongly for myself that my artwork, whether it be traditional or I'm mean, contemporary, it has to have a traditional base in order to be a native artist. So um, this was a stretch from what I've been doing, obviously, with the Louboutins. Um, she, the actual body... Um, the canvas of this piece was created six years ago. And I had the idea of doing a Lakota woman with a Dentalian shell dress. And alongside with the Dentalians, there was a lot of brass sequins that were used in those pieces. And in the past, I made my own, which is utterly ridiculous and way too time-consuming. And so this past March, I went to a antique show and found an entire lot of micro sequins from the turn of the century with the made in France tag still on them not rusted I was elated <laughs> so here she is <laughs> oh, yeah um, one more question I just want to know what is your Indian market ritual for Saturday morning coffee <laughs> oh, five o'clock, hopefully. We'll see. Who knows? I may be up all night now. <laughs> well, congratulations. Really, it's stunning, and I'm so happy for you. Thanks. Thank you. That was great. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm here with Governor George Rivera, who is... Um, with Buffalo Thunder Resort and Casino, the presenting sponsor of Santa Fe Indian Market 2012. Thank you for speaking with us today. Can you say a couple of words about today's event and the coming weekend and what what our partnership? Okay, sure. Yeah, well, uh, first of all, it's great to be um, sponsoring Indian Market. Buffalo Thunder and the Pueblo Pawake, you know, wholeheartedly support um, India market and all the native artists and native culture so that's why we do it uh, for the people and uh, it's just really important to keep um, uh, India market alive and well and um, you know we have an amazing collection at Buffalo Thunder of a lot of the artists that are showing here so we're excited to come see the new stuff and uh, we'll be looking to get a piece or two as well for, for Buffalo Thunder um, we also have the uh, Pueblo Pawaki Po Cultural Center and Museum. We have a show with uh, Cody Sanderson and Adrian Wall up right now, and um, that is uh, a year-long project. Uh, it goes on all year, uh, where we train uh, individuals in sculpture, jewelry, pottery, and uh, other classes. So. Um, it's just uh, something that we do, and this is really just a high point of the year for a lot of artists. Uh, there are other shows that we send uh, our artists to, but this is a big one, and it's you know homegrown right here in Santa Fe, and um, it's important for the for the city also and the state. Uh, India Market just has such a big impact economically on um, on Santa Fe and New Mexico, and we're just glad to be part of that and helping out. One more question. Uh, what is your favorite event of the week and weekend? Um, I think the Friday night preview has is, is always been my favorite just because uh, all the, uh, the amazing pieces are in one room. So I don't have to walk all the streets of town, which I enjoy anyway, but it takes a little longer. Yeah, and just uh, it's, it's, it's wonderful to see the artists when they um, see the look on their faces when they see their ribbon and just you know all the hard work that they've done um, i just looked at a, 
a two gray hills rug that took the woman over two years to make all the way from growing the sheep spinning the wool and then weaving the the rug and it's just a gorgeous gorgeous piece uh, scale the scale was uh you know it's it's uh, if that was a sculpture it would be considered a monumental sculpture so i guess it's a monumental rug um but uh it's really neat to see um that the culture is still alive uh here at india market mm -hmm. sure thank you so much I'm here with Mayor Koss, and I wanted to know how many years have you been coming to Indian Market? Well, let's see, I'm 58, so about 50, 50 plus years. You know, uh, as mayor, I've been to more of the, uh, the previews, the award shows, the banquets, the, uh, and the discussions with artists and, uh, and collectors. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, been a very rich experience. What's your favorite event at market? My favorite event at market, um, you know, well, this the best of show is is pretty good. The uh, the evening when the the crowds are larger is good. Um, I love the new the the fact that they have the new film festival. I think that's really special. Um, I just like uh, walking around. You know, I guess that's for me that's the best. Just uh, seeing the art during the day and all the people and all the art. And as far as um, Indian Market and its contribution to the city of Santa Fe, what is your impression of that? Well, it's huge. I think it would probably be hard to overstate the importance of it. It's uh, more than 90 years old. I think it's where so much of the reputation of Santa Fe as a city of the arts uh, started and comes from. You know, whenever we uh, think about how important the art is to our economy, this is the weekend that crowns that. This is the week that, that demonstrates that. So it's, it's very, very important to our economy, to our culture, to, uh, to uh, everybody in town. Though not everybody comes, not everybody enjoys it. Uh, but everybody benefits from it. Everybody benefits. Everybody benefits. <laughs> And uh, you know the and the you know the SWIA does an excellent job, I think, of of working with city staff. Uh, how we, when we close the streets, what close we, streets we close, uh, those types of issues. There's a, a gazillion details that go into this, at least, and uh, and they do just a wonderful job. And uh, we appreciate the city's help as well. And this has been a good process. This year has been really nice and. Thank you for everything, and thanks for speaking with us today. I really appreciate it. It's uh, absolutely a pleasure, and uh, my best wishes to all the artists. I hope you, hope you sell everything this weekend. Thank you, Mayor Koss. Bye-bye. So we're wrapping it up here. Everybody has left to go have a fabulous lunch. Um, tonight, there's going to be a lot of great gallery openings, a lot of events um, downtown Santa Fe. So if you're in Santa Fe, please come by. If you're not here, make sure you come next year because this is not to be missed. Indian Market, tomorrow morning, 5.30 on the plaza. I will see you there. Thanks for joining us. It's Thailand. Bye.